Hey guys, welcome back to the final part of this kitchen nook makeover. It's took me a few days. Seems like I've had several setbacks and then I end up at my brother's house. You'll see that in just a little bit. And of course, when she walks through the door with that baby, I've got to stop what I'm doing and you know, priorities. But anyway, we got it done and that's all that matters. So I had to wait on the wallpaper and we ordered it because Lowe said they wasn't getting it in for a while. And then I went the next morning and they had all kinds of it. And I had already ordered two rolls and it was going to be at my house that afternoon. Ended up coming late that evening. So that was kind of a little bit of a setback. And I almost went ahead and just bought it. And I was like, I'll just return what I've ordered. But I didn't because I was like, that's just going to create a wasted trip. But you'll see that we do go to Lowe's and get a few pieces of decor. And I got a little plant and a shelf and just some things like that. And, you know, didn't spend a whole lot of money. But I did see a sign on Amazon that I wanted for this kitchen, but it was like crazy expensive. So I was like, I'll just go to Hobby Lobby, buy the wooden frame and do it myself on my Cricut. And that's what I done. I think it turns out so good. So you guys will see all that. There was a little setback with the vinyl too. I got some vinyl from Hobby Lobby, got it home and it was creased like it had been stepped on and there was a crease in it. So yeah, it's just been a whole ordeal, but you know what? That's life and you just have to roll with it. Don't ever feel like you're the only person that it's like, man, if it can go wrong, it does because that's us too. So it is what it is and we just have to deal with it. It's life and life is always going to throw us punches and we've just got to punch back, get it done. And that's what we did. So, so glad you're here. I'm so excited to show you guys what this is going to look like. And I go to my brothers. You'll see that in a few minutes. They got some wallpaper and I was showing them how to hang that. And I love their wallpaper. So I'm thinking maybe that for my bathroom. Let me know what you think about that too. But anyway, I'll hop back on and see you guys in just a second. Over, let's I was finishing up this wallpaper I noticed at the window that my lantern was glowing it's a little solar lantern so I wanted to show you guys that because I know you guys seen me hang it when I did the deck spring clean but I hadn't showed it to you at night so that is so cute and it has like came almost a tornado and a like all kinds of rain and everything and it's still going strong so it's been a good one I got that at Hobby Lobby for like $11 so 
That has been a cute little addition back there. But I just wanted to go ahead and get this wallpaper hung so that I could get up the next morning and start on the rest of it. I do hang the trim on this night too, I believe. After it had dried, I had stained that. But let me know if you guys think this looks like tire tracks. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but I was just standing there looking at it one night. And I was like, Heather, it looks like tire tracks. <laughs> she was like, no, it don't. And then one of my kids was like, it looks like Chevron. And then somebody said it looked like animal tracks, like little bird feet or something. But once I got the curtains back up, and I do want different curtains, maybe a color. You'll have to let me know. Help me with this because I'm not good at these things. But after I get curtains back up and the things on the wall, it breaks up all of this because it was messing with my eyes a little bit. But it breaks all this up and I think it looks so good. If you should paint that, brought pink. It's this really, 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 really cute onesie, and it has flowers, and it has zero to three months, and it's three dollars and ninety-eight cents. This looks little. And then we got our some little shorts, zero to three months shorts. I mean, they're so tiny. These are also three dollars and ninety-eight cents. Where'd you get these? Steals and deals. <laughs> At the Walmart. Okay. Next, we have the zero to three months. T-shirt and it was also it was two dollars and ninety eight cents. What a steal! And we have Baby clothes are cheap. Well, three, some of them. Three to six months and these was. So that's like so tiny. Two. The zero to three were tiny. I got three to six. Go get you some baby clothes at Walmart. Okay, y'all are in an awkward. She gonna come home tomorrow and those cats are gonna be re-gifted. But I got her a little fit print thing for. Her baby book because she forgot to have them do it at the hospital. So this was $4.99 at the Hobby Lobby. They didn't do it in her baby book. Then all you old school parents are gonna remember this. Okay, so you remember the bottles that had the little bags in it, like Playtex, I think was the brand? They had the little bags in it. So, we found these bottles. Actually, you might, this one might show up better. These little bottles, because they don't make those anymore. You know, that's out of style. So, here's the lid. Here's what the nipple looks like. And when you take it off, it's the same thing. It's a little bag. But it's a silicone bag, so it's reusable. So you put that in. 
there's that and then you can squeeze and let all the air out till the milk comes up to the top so if you guys remember those bottles let me know uh, the only thing I liked about them was they were easier to wash you didn't have to stick your you know get the whole bottle done in there like a sterilized because it was a sterile bag but anyway we got a lot pink we got hot pink flash are you helping and then we got a maroon it was a three pack Walmart has these but they were three to six months or I think they were like three oh, it was stage two like older are you done walling that paper up? Okay. So Walmart had these. So Walmart had these, but they only had stage two. So the milk would come out too fast for her. So I got these on Amazon. I destroyed the box open and it, it did come packaged prettier than this. But it is, um, zero months plus so it's the slow flow so she's gonna be excited about that because she really liked those seems like she sucks better with the bigger nipple she loses her section more with a smaller one so we're trying to just find the right fit for her maybe we found it shiny lights and purple sky everything's so bright Turn off your phone and off your mind. Look at you so bright. Mom, she's so upset. She can be. Oh, I'll take you to the moon. Come on up and enjoy your ride. Oh, I'll take you to the moon. Just be ready to enjoy your night. these kitchen windows clean because I haven't cleaned those yet but it was like 37 degrees on this night so I didn't raise them or open them up you know like fold them out to clean the rest of them I'll have to do that on another day but I did want to go ahead and get the inside of them clean because her cats sit in these windows when the blinds are up and they get their little nose prints all over them so I went ahead and cleaned what I could and same with these blinds I still want to take them down and like put them in the driveway scrub them down spray them with a water hose put them in the bathtub something because they're bad but I went ahead and dusted all of the dust and cat hair things like that off of them so it is what it is for now it's good enough but Heather's little kitten was enjoying this little duster and she was so cute with it in the minute I put it on her of course she stops but I did want to go ahead and get the trim hung on this night so it could be sitting there and drying because I did use glue but the reason I use glue is because I glued this to the wallpaper. So I painted it right up to the wallpaper and from the wallpaper up is where I hung the trim. So when I go to pull this wallpaper off, this trim will come with it and there won't be any damage to the wall. I actually seen that on a video somewhere and it's been a while back, but it was like renter friendly home projects that you know you can just do and remove and not cause any damage if you're a renter. So they had put contact paper up and board and batten, glued board and batten to it, painted over it, and you could not tell there was contact paper under it. So when you get ready to leave, you just pull that contact paper off the wall. It doesn't damage the paint and yeah, so I don't know that the paint would go through the contact paper, but it is something if you want to put some trim up or something like that, you can glue it to the wallpaper and then it's just going to come right off with that. So pretty neat idea, I think, but I didn't have my nail gun. My brother was using it. He had actually given me his nail gun and he had borrowed it back and I just haven't went out there and gotten it. I guess I should have, but I didn't know that I was going out there on this night. So anyway, I just used a little bit of glue, a dab here, a dab there, and 
it's fine. It's still hanging. It's not heavy at all. So I don't feel like it's going to like pull that wallpaper down or anything. Doing with me. She's so down on my league. She's a little bit crazy on the I went ahead and hung these curtain rods back up. I wasn't sure that I was going to, but I did think it needed something like the, all the pattern needed to be broken up. So I hung those back up. I went ahead and went up a little with it and hung them above the old holes because those were just hollowed out. Like I could pull those rods down without even unscrewing them. So I made new holes and got those hung up. I hate hanging curtains. Like I hung these curtains through the wrong hole. They're actually supposed to be down through the second hole and a little bit sticking up on top. But I didn't notice that till I'd already got them hung. And I was like, I'm not taking those back down. I will another day. So if you notice that they're hung wrong, they are hung wrong, but that's okay. Tick tock, the clock keeps ticking. I don't know what I should do. And I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still Thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing You so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. We had taken Lakely's pictures again, and I just wanted to include that and show you guys. But here's where I realized that my vinyl is all creased, and I did try to print one part of it, and you could see that the lines were in that, and it just looked terrible. So Heather was out in town. She picked me some new vinyl up, so that was okay, you know, just another little setback. It was just one of those days where I felt like if I touched it, it was going to go all the crap basically and it did but it's okay because things like that are through at us to get us frustrated and make us want to quit and we can't let that bother us you just got to keep going and the day will get better and that's what we did also forgot to get some pot and soil so we'll get that next time we go out but I wanted to wipe these leaves down because they were dirty and I just left it in this little pot and just sat it in there so yeah We'll get some of that when we go back out and we'll plant that in there. But I think that's so pretty. I can't keep anything alive. I had given up on it. But I seen this plant and I was like, that would be so pretty over there. So 
we're going to try it and we'll see how it works out. But I just wanted to get this floor swept up and mopped and get it ready to move everything back over here and get it all fixed up, get some things hang on the wall. We ended up taking the baby to see Shonda. She was at my brother's. So we head out there in a few minutes and you'll see that she gets some new wallpaper for their dining room and she had never hung it before. So I was showing her how to do that. But I was just gonna work on my sign until it was time to go until like she had gotten over here with the baby and all that. So just sweeping, mopping, working on this sign in between, you know, all over the place as usual. Papaw had to come straight here after work and hold this baby. He is so in love with this baby. I think he actually wants to hold her and be with her and, you know, love on her more than he did his own. And I guess that's just part of being grandparents. I'm loving it. Y'all said I would love it, and I had no idea how much that we actually would. We are makeup on. Okay. We're at my brother's, and... We just came to show him the baby. We get back there. But um, now we're wallpapering, so you just never know what you're gonna get with me. But back up and show them. You can show the fireplace and stuff too, since they don't actually stand on the they just seen pictures. I'm going to go ahead and share my devotional with you guys and today's is what you feed and it's 1 John 2 15 through 17. What you feed will grow, what you sow you will reap. This principle is visible in all areas of life. If you find that you love the ways of the world more than the will of God, it is likely because you're feeding those areas. Where do you spend your time and what do you fill your mind with? If you continuously align yourself with the world, that's where you will feel the most at home and where your desires will lie. In contrast, 
If you feed your relationship with God, with the word and his presence, that's where you'll find your desires lie. Let the Holy Spirit gently point out areas of your life that you're feeding a love for. As he speaks to you in kindness, he will also equip and redirect your attention. The will of God is worth your attention more than anything the world can muster up. Direct your focus toward what is eternal and lasting. Lord, you have not left me alone in this world ill-equipped to navigate it. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who guides me and points me to you with kindness. Help me to clearly see the areas of my life that are feeding a love for the world. Show me how I can surrender those areas and refocus. I want to align my life with what you are doing. As I was decorating the breakfast area in the house, I noticed that I had forgotten to get pot and soil for that plant. So I looked it up. Is it okay just to leave it in the pot that it came in or do I need to replant that, repot that? And what I read was that it has to be repotted to grow. And as it grows bigger, it's going to need an even bigger environment, a different, a new soil, a new environment to grow. So as it grows bigger, it'll need to be repotted even into something bigger later. So I thought about that for a while and just in general and in life. And you know, sometimes we have to replant ourselves. We have to move a little bit. We have to get into a new environment to grow. My dad gave me some tomato plants once and he said, you have to set these out. You have to repot them or they'll die. They won't grow in what they're in. They're going to need a bigger space to live. That's the way it is with life. Sometimes you have to move. Sometimes you have to be nudged. Sometimes you have to step out on faith. But ultimately, you have to move. You have to be repotted. You have to have a bigger space to grow. If we sit still and don't do anything with our life, and if we just do the same thing day in, day out, we'll get stagnant. To get stagnant means standing still without flow or current. Blackish and foul from standing still. And I feel like that's the same way with our spiritual life. If we don't move, if we don't do anything for the Lord, if we just stand still, we're going to get stagnant. And I don't ever want to get stagnant. That's just what I got from that. Just we need to move. Sometimes we need to be repotted. Sometimes I'm not saying it's to go move into a bigger house, a new house. Sometimes you have to step out on faith and do what you feel God is calling you to do to make a difference in your life and in someone else's life. But anyway, I don't know why I said all that, but that's just what came to my mind on this day, and I was going to share it with you guys too. But Shonda had some home decor, and she pulled out an H and an O, and I was like, is that it? And then she pulled out an E, and I was like, is that it? And then there was an M in it too, so she pulled out an M. So she's going to hang that home sign on the back side of that fireplace like in the kitchen part so I think that'll be super cute but I'm so glad you guys got to see this what it looks like in the end let me know if you guys like it it's not perfect nothing I do is perfect but it I think it sure looks better it sure feels better anyway but anyway I love you remember Jesus loves you so much unconditionally no matter what and sometimes he will ask you to move and you got to trust that to grow but I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one Hearts are losing hope, yeah, I know It's hard, I want to be a shining light Live a life that shows through the darkness A fire burning in the night Be a hope for a world so broken Be a friend to the lonely, the joy that he showed me Make the broken things new
shows through the darkness A fire burning in the night Be a hope for a world so broken Be afraid